that time again. Day 11. Let's go work out. stoked right now. Lori just gave this to me after our workout. Her husband only wanted the nose for his car so I get to have the ears because she already has ears so I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. I have ears. I'm so excited. Thanks Lori. I feel like I've been thanking you a lot so just thanks for everything. I totally had to make baked eggs again because they're that good but I did something a little different. Matt had the idea the other day to take out the yolks and just cook it with the sauce and the egg whites first so that the egg whites could cook and then add in the yolks like partway through baking so that they can stay runny. So we're gonna see if that worked. That's what I did today. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, totally worked. So excited. Woo -woo! All right, I didn't think the baked eggs could get any better, but they did. You have to make this. It's amazing. So right now I am putting together my friend's birthday gift. Her birthday is this week and I've gotten little things for her here and there over the past few months that I've just been like tucking away and now I'm putting them together. Can't exactly tell you what I got her yet just because she might watch. Are you watching? If you're watching, I don't want you getting any sneak peeks. I'm gonna try not to sneak peek too much. I'll show you what I got her when she opens it, but I'll show you how I'm putting everything together. I love to make gift baskets for people. I think it's just like the best way to get a gift. I give them a few things that they want slash need and then put it in something that they can use. That's my idea of like the perfect gift basket. Sadie, I said that that's not yours. This is not a giant stuffed animal for you. And this is why we keep you locked out of this room, because you would eat all my stuff, huh? Sadie, Sadie! No, so this is what I got to put the gift in and be the carrier for the gift. It acts as the gift bag, basically, but it's totally usable, it's adorable. It's like this rubber material and I just love it, especially now because in California, you don't get plastic bags when you go to the supermarket. You're supposed to bring your own bags. If you don't bring your own bags, they charge you for them. So this is the perfect little bag for anything. Going to the beach, running to the supermarket. It's just so handy. It's just useful for so many different things. So fun, fun idea. Think outside the box when you're looking for something to put a present in. Maybe give them something they can use. And so I can't tell you what I put inside. There's something inside of it that's gonna be at the very bottom that she can pull out at the end. But until then, I have two more little somethings for her, individually wrapped. And so I'm gonna put tissue paper all up in here and then I'm gonna put these bags in there. So it's gonna be like layers of gifts. Who doesn't wanna open layers of gifts? Thank you, thank you so much for all your help, by the way. <laughs> what are you doing? You're so crazy. But is that not like the cutest little gift you've ever seen? Like, wouldn't you just absolutely love to get this? Yes, I know you would. So, if you have a friend's birthday coming up, hopefully this gives you a little bit of inspiration. But I cannot wait to give this to her. I hope she loves it. And if you are watching, I hope I didn't ruin any of your surprises. Maybe just what it's coming in is ruined for you, but that's okay. <laughs> I love, love giving presents to people and watching them open them. And I love creating these baskets and I love thinking of new ways to give something. I just think it's so much fun. And so one of the things that helps me is that if I see something in a store that reminds me of someone, I get it for them. I don't wait, I don't say, oh, that's a great idea, ah, but their birthday's not for six months. Ah, I don't need to get it yet because by six months from now, 
I'm gonna totally forget about it and or it's not gonna be there anymore. Most likely I'm gonna forget about it though. So I get it for them. I have this like box in my garage. It's now in my back house. As you know, I moved everything from the garage into the back house. But I have this box that I put presents for future people in and it just goes in there until their birthday or Christmas comes up. I mean, I do this a lot for Christmas. Even if I see something that I'm not sure who it's for, but I just know it's a rad gift or I know it's just like a perfect thing for someone, I get it anyways. Because like I said, six months from now, when I want it, it won't be there. I just always keep that in mind. And I guess I'm always thinking about the next gift I'm going to give. Really, whenever I'm out, I'm always like, oh, that's the perfect gift for my friend Lori, for instance. All these little things, I knew her birthday was coming up, so I was like, okay, that's perfect, let me get that, let me get that. So, yeah, that's kind of how I go through the process of building a perfect gift for someone, and it comes in so handy for Christmas, too. Do I have all my gifts bought? No, but do I have a good start? Yes, and I just had Sadie staring at me from the stairs, so I'm guessing that means it's bedtime, so good night. This baby girl is ready for sleep, huh? Yes, she is. Yes, she is. You're a cute buddy. Good night.